Hi, this is Paula from Windsor On Air. It's a little bit of a different show today at the Lucy McKenzie Humane Society. I'm filling in for our host, Roz, and I'm happy to show you all the dogs and cats that are up on the adoption floor today. Come on inside and we'll take a look. This is Oscar. He is six months old. He is an owner surrender kitty. He's a, a pretty active little guy. He enjoys playing. He enjoys his toys. Um, super, super cute little cat. He has a pretty cool name too. Oscar, come. He is, here he comes. There we go. Look how cute he is. Adorable. And as I was, as I pet him, I say, my goodness, look at the fur on this guy. It's like a mink. He is very, very soft. Very soft little cat. And he's going to go out into his enclosure, maybe? Nope. Going to stay in. Here we go. Let's see if I can gauge him with the ball. See, he likes his toys. Very cute. Now this one must be an interesting breed mix. Yes, yeah, I mean, who knows really, but... Oh my goodness. Husky lab pit bull. Oh, I know, right? Look at the brindle right. in there. So this is V, So, and this is Amy Woodman, the um, shelter... Uh, the uh, program coordinator Co here. Yes, yeah. program coordinator, and she has V, and I believe that V just came into the shelter, and he is a boy. Um, can you tell me a little bit about him, Amy? Yeah, so um, he was um, surrendered, unfortunately, because the, his owner, um, you know, loved him very much, but was having, um, uh, is, is experiencing a housing crisis um, that was unable, she was unable to resolve, so she was forced to give him up. Um, but uh, V is, um, he is very well behaved. He does great with other dogs, with cats, with children. Um, I mean, he's, set, he's seven years old, but he, he's got plenty of energy, and you really couldn't ask for a better dog. I mean, he's he's really great. He seems very calm to me, yes, this dog, he is. which is really great. I yes. mean, he would he be good with a family and a oh, yeah. couple, single? What do you think? I, I think he'd be great with a, with a family. Yep, busy household, low key. I think he can he can do it all. And cats. Cats, yeah, he seems fine with cats. Wow, he's an all-rounder. I know, right? That's what we call them kind in the horse rare. world. Yeah. <laughs> in the horse world too, they're all-rounders. Right. Yeah, and they're not, they're they're far and few between actually that do a, a good job of being an all-rounder. And yeah. this guy seems to be the perfect fit That's in right. that he's category. Quite the gem. That's for sure. You are a gem, buddy. Yes, you are. Well, I, I suspect you won't be here long because you have those wonderful traits. I hope so. And huh? he's very handsome. And you know, he, it's an interesting, really interesting breed mix for sure. Yes. Um, you know, it's almost like St. Bernard or it, maybe Lab. Maybe that's what I'm seeing in the yeah, head. The, the, the blocky head. head. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But like maybe a bit of husky because of the tail. The tail, maybe. <laughs> the yeah, tail's yeah. got a plume. Yeah. Um, hey, and he, uh, you know, is a good size. You could still pick him up. He's not like so huge he's that you can't 60. pick him up. Yeah. But he looks super mellow, which I think is so important for a lot of people. Especially yes. like this could be a great first dog for somebody. Yes. Yep. You know, oh, truly definitely. a great first dog. Definitely. Because he is so calm and well clearly yeah. loving and, you know, yes, yep, yep. all that good stuff that people need in a dog, especially first dog owners. And he's housebroken. Exactly. Right. Yep. I mean, he is, this dog is ready to rock. He really he's ready is. to go. Yeah. So. He's I wonder why, what V stands for. Victory, Victor. He's, um, his previous owner said it because it was, um, he's got like a white, the white marking on his head. Oh, so it's maybe. Like a v. Yeah. So she said that's why she named him V. Flying V. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, I thank you for showing him to us, Amy, because I think he looks like a absolutely fantastic specimen of a dog that yes. would make a great addition to anybody's family. Absolutely. I do. All right, buddy, you want to go back in? Right. Probably not, but we're going back in anyway. Probably <laughs> He is special, for sure. He is. He's, I... This is little Joy. She is a seventh-month-old kitty, and she's here with her siblings, but she's the one who needs the home the most at this time. You can see her calico sister is bothering me on the side. And Little Joy has a, um, a bit of a hair lip, which is sort of an unusual thing in a cat. But if I get a close up, come here. Come here, Miss Joy. You can see her lip is a little funny, but it gives her like a, a, a very nice character. Super cute little girl. And it doesn't impede her in any way or form. She can eat, she can play, she can meow. She does all those things, even with her little uh, lip with its special form and I'm sort of taken with this little cat because she is unusual and special and she is kitten and she is young playful as you can see she's walking in circles around me and there's a little ginger friend down here who I believe has an adoption on him but this is the one that we're focusing on right now. She's adorable. She's walking around, walking around, walking around. There you go. There's your little face. Little hair lip. You can see her little teeth. It is just, in my eyes, an endearing quality of this little cat. And I think she deserves a great home with someone who will admire her specialty that she has in her face. There she is. As I said, it doesn't impede anything in her cat-like qualities. Growing up as a big cat, she'll look even better. And here's her buddy over here. You can see she gets along well with other cats because she lives with her siblings. So you could probably introduce her into a home with other cats. She's hiding in a little tunnel here and playing with toys. So please come see Joy because I think she'd bring a lot of joy into your life. Come on through. What, what are you doing in there? She's so cute. Get the little mouse. Get the mouse. Okay. Okay, this is an um this is Jake and he's another revisit dog. We did him, I believe, last month. And I believe the month before. So this guy's been here a little while. So yes, yes. Amy, could you um, tell me about him a bit? Yeah, so Jake was brought here because um, he wasn't getting along with the cats really was the main reason, but also the, I think their housing issues were contributing to that. Um, so we are um, uh, recommending no pets for him. We did test him with cats and dogs here. And um, well, we just think it's best he lives, a, he, lives as the only pet. Um, he's, he'd be great with kids. Um, he'd be great for someone who wants a dog who's a bit more mellow. Um, he's very obedient on leash and um, he's not demanding. He's, he's really, you know, middle, ro middle of the road with, with so many things except for cats and dogs. <laughs> but, <laughs> but that's not uncommon, you know. It seems no. that it's, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest, my dogs chase my cat and right. they're not supposed to and yeah. we do protective measures at my home Management. with gates and yeah. everything and yeah. and it works fine you just have to know your situation that's right um yeah and my yeah so yeah and sometimes you know that can be a lot to ask but um you know I, otherwise he's he again great family dog he's obedient he's house trained he's leash trained very well um 
and be great with kids and that's you know not always yeah yeah common, and, you know? and his tail wags too doesn't it it sure does it sure does huh, buddy? jake is your tail gonna wag for us huh everyone loves a wagging tail yes that's he's right good boy oh good boy can you sit come here jake can you sit sit can you sit sit down bud Okay. <laughs> he's like well maybe okay. maybe because you're sitting probably. i don't have to sit probably. Yeah, yeah probably but look how sweet he is he's just lovely really a nice dog another dog middle of the road you know just some minor minor only child issues but right. you know in comparison to right. which may change over time yes yeah. exactly i think so many things can be worked out if you put your time and energy into it that's right so that's right. you know dogs deserve a try for yep. sure behavior is fluid and he's been here for a while, so I think it's time for him to find his own place. It's time. Yeah. yeah it's time. Jake, can you turn around, please? I know. Come yeah. on. Come on. I know you're looking at the pond. It's very cool over there. But at least Boy. we get the dogs out. You know, I know they walk the dogs here. The volunteers come. and Oh, yeah. So they get yeah. a lot of socialization, which yes. is really nice. Yeah. And um, this is a very special place yeah. because of that. Cool. So, um, yeah. But, you know, a home is always better than oh, yeah. a shelter no, for no sure. Place like yeah. Home. <laughs> Absolutely. Jake, come on, turn around one more time. That's yeah, right. That come here, come here, come on. Yeah. Oh, good boy. Oh, he's Here's so your beautiful cute. Face. He yeah. is, yeah. he is. Um, I would breed, I think, pit bull and something. Yeah, pit right? bull, lab. Boxer. Boxer, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, he's got a bit of a blocky body, but it's yes. it's wonderful. And, yeah. you know, if anybody knows anything about pit bulls, they were, they're great with kids. Yep. I mean, they're absolutely yep. one of the most on the wonderful dogs yep. that you could ever get. Yep. So, so, absolutely not a mean bone in his body. I know exactly. Right, good boy, huh? Yeah. Good boy. Okay, we're enjoying the nice day, aren't we? He's getting yeah. some sun on his back, and he's enjoying it, giving us a tail wag and appreciation. Good boy, Jake. Good boy. Yay! Good boy. Yes. All right. Hope you're not here next month. See ya. <laughs> This is Kit Kat. She is a year old and um, we have one of our volunteers playing with Kit Kat here and she has um, double paws in the front and that is called um, a polydactyl and if you don't know the history of a polydactyl is a long long time ago a ship came over from Europe with one polydactyl and it landed in Boston and that's where the origins of this genetic trait started. So you'll see them on certain cats for, um, I'm not sure why each one gets it, but it's really cute because they have extra toes. So anyway, Kit Kat is really super friendly. As you can see, she's just melting into the volunteer. <laughs> and she's pretty wonderful. Um, she looks like to be a great friend to... Um, a single person or a family. Um, she's in a communal cat room, so clearly gets along with other cats. So I would definitely come and check her out if you're interested in a cat, especially with one with extra toes. <laughs> so you could, I could try to get a little shot of those toes. Come here, where's your little extra toes? There they are, thank you for showing them to me. <laughs> you're very cute, yes you are. Good girl, Kit Kat. We hope you get a home soon. And as always, thank you to our volunteers because they help keep these animals in a good place emotionally and physically by being pet and talked to and just make them feel more comfortable while they're here. So we're back outside with Amy and Shayla. Hi. Hi. Shayla, Hi. another, a, she's a female. Yep. She's about six years old, and um, she was an owner surrender because she wasn't getting along with the other pets in the household. That includes the dog and the cat. Mm -hmm. um, but she, you know, we think she'd be good with kids. You know, great family dog. If she can be the only pet, that would be best. <laughs> um, she, we think she's a hound mix, so she, she's maybe that's why she's prone to chasing and um, sniffing. So you might want to keep this one in a fence or on leash. But um, she's she's very mellow, nice and compact. I think she's about 40 pounds. Um, and yeah, and she's playful too. She loves to play with her toys. Does she do fetching of balls and things along uh, that line? 
<laughs> she'll get it, bring it back. <laughs> Maybe not so much yet. Yeah. You know, this dog looks like she'd be a really good hiking buddy. Oh, yeah. You know, she's got yeah. that hiking mentality, I she think. Is. And a great um, young yes. couple's dog. Um, oh, yeah. And again, another first, probably a great first owner dog because she's oh, yeah. older. Yeah. And, um, you, you know, it'd have to be an only child dog, <laughs> yes, right. so to oh, speak. But um, I, I met this dog last month and I really liked her. I thought she was really sweet and yeah. very beautiful looking. Yes, very beautiful. And, you know, she's got her little things. She, you know, she has to be an only pet. Right. But um, that's nothing in comparison to so many other things in our world oh, with yes, animals. Oh, no, no major behavior problems. Right, exactly. Healthy. And housebroken really well is too. Yeah. Housebroken, good. Housebroken. Healthy, good right. to go. And she's calm and, yeah. you know, again, another great dog here at the Lucy McKenzie Humane Society that could use a really wonderful home and I bet when the right person comes along they're going to fall in love with this little thing and she's cute. She is, she's got <laughs> a darling face if I can get it. She's moving around a lot but where are you? There you are. You're very very sweet. Oh what a good girl and good she's got girl. little wrinkles in the front of her head. Oh, I know. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah she is very very cute yes, you are. and she is six years old as you said. Yep great age you know they're out of their puppyhood and oh yeah you know it's just the beginning of their maturity and i think it's a it's a good yep. place to be yep middle age that's right that's right mm -hmm. so and it, it, was she like a local dog or was she a southern transport originally do you know i'm local she was okay yep. okay it's always, always kind of good to know the backstory on some of yeah. these dogs and this one is I, I really like her. I think she's great. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's wonderful. Yeah, you're a good girl. You got a little tail wagging, don't yeah. you, buddy? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Your sure. owner is out there somewhere, and For I sure. hope they see this video and come and scoop you up <laughs> and go hiking with you. That's right. All right. Thank you, Shayla. Thank you, Amy. Good.